guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey, and welcome to the base game Sunset Valley House Tours, episode 15. Now, I'm going to try to squeeze three houses into this one. I think it's doable, so let's just get right into it with the Kennedy family, or I guess the single sim kennedy household aaron kennedy is a long-term military career woman who was recently transferred to town making friends has always been difficult for her and she was and she worries that things might be the same in this town will her fears come true she lives at cottage cheese oh my god that's funny <laughs> so <laughs> i wasn't expecting that one bedroom one bathroom home located at 67 water lily lane built on a 30 by 20 lot or sorry i can't read 30 by 30 lot and this cozy victorian cottage is as cute as a button i guess as cute as cheese too right <laughs> oh gosh okay it features that didn't even make sense. It features original details, a fireplace, and a large fenced in yard. All right, let's just get into it because I've lost it. I've lost it. Let's go. All right, here we are the outside of the home, and I'm going to try to tour these a little bit more quickly than usual so we could squeeze three in. And there's not a whole lot to say. There's a little bit of landscaping. There's a cute little pathway, mailbox that goes straight to the front door, and some fencing all around the backyard, which we'll get to when we get to the backyard. That made sense. Um, it looks like it's just a one-story small home, so let's just go ahead and go straight through this front door here. Going through the front door, going through the front door, nice double doors, and, ooh, bookshelf. Okay, <laughs> there's a cute little just uh, hallway here, I guess, with a bookshelf and a chair and a little phone. Very small, but very cozy. Um, the colors are a bit dull in here so far. We have another little side table with a lamp and the smoke detector behind the lamp, not in the kitchen. That's kind of odd. Um, we have, whoa, this is a trippy wood 70s throwback it feels like almost even the stereo is completely wood um i don't know what to say i guess uh the rug is cute the rug's cute fireplace i love fireplaces and it's got sort of like a green marble on it looks pretty cool to me and where should we go it's a small house so i guess um Let's go to the kitchen first, and then we'll check out what are probably the bedrooms and bathrooms. So straight through here, we have an eaten kitchen, or I guess, I don't know, it's like a big kitchen. There's like a, I guess this is technically the dining room, dining room here. We have a little bit of plates here on the side, and then the archway goes into the actual kitchen, which um, the floor pattern, I can't decide if I like it or not. It's, it's different. <laughs> Lots of blue in here. It's cute. I'm not going to say anything bad about it. It's cute. And this door probably goes to the yard, right? Let's go to the yard. Ooh, okay. So we have a cute little porch right here. Um, some stairs that go down to this big, beautiful fenced-in yard. I think the yard's, like, way bigger than the house, to be honest. But that's okay. Lots of trees. A little bit of landscaping. Um, the trash can's in the back, which is kind of cool. Usually I put them in the front of the house, but I guess that makes sense. There's a shot of the, of the whole house from the backyard. It's just small and cozy. So let's go ahead and go back inside and check out those bedrooms. Going through the back door again. That's actually a really cute door. I think it's the rustic door. Is that right? No, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Back through the dining area and we get a peek of the living room again. And now, whoa, don't go through the wall. Wait a second. Where did that little hallway go? Where am I going? I'm lost. Here we go. There's the hallway. I guess there's only two doors. So one must be a bedroom and one must be a bathroom. And I think this is a bathroom because I kind of saw it clipping through the wall. And it is very clean looking. Just whites and grays. Um, toilet, shower, sink. Sink? Sink and mirror. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing special. Just a little bathroom. Let's go back into the hall, and this has to be the bedroom, and of course it is. Whoa, it's a little bit dark in here. I do have the lights on. Um, sort of a goldish, brownish tone color scheme in here. There is a dresser with a tiny mirror and a double bed. <laughs> and I don't know. It's small, but it, it's got everything you need, I guess. So, gosh, that was a small home. Very, very small. Let's do our floor plan if I can stop clipping through all the dang walls here. All right, here's our floor plan. Small and sweet. We came right into the living room. In the middle is the hallway that leads to the bedroom and the bathroom. Way in the back, we have the kitchen and all the way to the right, the dining room. And then, of course, here is a bigger shot of the yard. So you can see just lots of trees back here. Very cute. Cute little tiny home. Um, I don't know. How much does it cost? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to look that up. I'm sure it's pretty easy, but I'm, my brain's not working right now. But I guess it could be a cute little starter home or a mid-level home. So let's just go ahead and go to house number two. 
Oh, wait, I need a favorite shot. Ooh, ooh, I'm sorry. Like, I don't, ugh, okay. You know what, I have one. I was gonna say, I don't wanna say anything bad about this house, but I don't really have a favorite shot. But I did really like the green marble fireplace. So there you go, favorite shot of the house. Now let's go on to house number two. All right, so this is house number two, and I actually already had a sim placed in here. She doesn't come with a base game uh, town or anything. She's someone that I created, I believe. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure because there's no description of the family. But anyways, this is a Cheney household, my household, one of my households, and this is one of the starter homes. It's the pre-fabulous one-bedroom, one-bathroom located at 55 Water Lily Lane, built on a 20 by 30 lot. This affordable home is proud of its simplicity. This is not a trailer. Really, it isn't. It just happens to be long and narrow. And guys, I'm sure you're all familiar with this home if you've ever played The Sims ever. This is probably one of the most common starter homes you'll ever come across. I think there's only like two or three in the whole town, so you guys should be familiar with it. I'm just gonna, I know for a fact, I know exactly what it looks like. I can tell you every nook and cranny of this house. So I'm just gonna do an aerial view. It's really small. We could get it all in one shot and then we'll move on to house number three. All right, so here's the outside of the home that's not a trailer. They swear it's not a trailer. Um, we do have some cute little patterns in the driveway here and the little stone path. Um, we have the adorable little flamingos. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's the outside. There's not really a backyard. There is, but there's nothing there. So we're just going to go ahead and check out, like I said, the entire floor in one foul swoop. <laughs> you guys should be familiar with this house. And if not, it is a great little starter home. All the way to the left, we have our living room with some beautiful green and orange couches. Um, we have our tiny little kitchen, but I like this kitchen. It is very well laid out for a little small thing. And then we have our bathroom here with all the necessities, trash can, shower, toilet, and sink. And then to the right, we have our bedroom. Nice big double bed with that orange and green pattern again, which the Sims team obviously seem to love in The Sims 3 very much. And a dresser. So there it is. Cute, cozy, small, great starter home. <laughs> and I'm just blown through this one and going on to house number three. I'm not doing a favorite shot because like, look, you can see the whole thing. Favorite shot, whole house. There you go. Done. Boom. House number three. Actually, I lied. Let's make, let's make the flamingos my favorite shot because they're so cute and there they are. All right. <laughs> oh, all right. House number three. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are at house number three. This is the Alvi household. Young Mirage Alvi wishes that his teenage brother would stop giving their dad such a hard time. Is there some way he can help the two make amends? The house is called Flavorful. <laughs> these names, oh my gosh, these names. Okay, it's a two bedroom, one bathroom home located at 43 Water Lily Lane, built on a 20 by 30 lot. And this personality rich fixer upper, hmm, that's a good term, sits on a convenient corner lot and features a fenced in paved yard. I have a feeling this might be a little quirky, so let's go ahead and check out this personality-rich fixer-upper. All right, guys, I'm thoroughly confused. Um, <laughs> let's start off at the not-so-weird part of this house, which appears to be a little kid's swing set back here that is cute, I suppose. Um, just, yeah. Oh, wrong button. Just a little swing area here. Why is, you know what, let's get out of camera mode. That's going too slow for me. <laughs> All right, there we go, swing set. Now, this, uh, I don't even think you saw what I was talking about, but here, what the heck, what the heck is this, guys? What is this? It's like a shed and there's like, a, what is this, a freezer or a washer and dryer? I don't even know what that is. Barbecue grill um, and this weird little makeshift outdoor area that I guess is kind of cute. I don't know. All the mismatched chairs and just some random party balloons. What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Um, these weird little crawl spaces under, you know what? I have no idea. I can't believe I've never seen this house before, but let's, I guess let's go inside. I don't know. Is there anything I missed out here? Is there another part of the yard? No, this is just weird. Wow. It's like, okay, I get it. It's built on blocks. It is built on blocks. Huh. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Let's just go inside. Cause I'm, um, I'm lost for words and not really a good way. Not really a bad way either. Just a very intriguing way. Going through the front door, side door. Now the camera wants to go fast. Is this even a door? I can't even tell. Is it? I guess it is. Am I not in camera mode? Oh, that would explain it. There we go. Yeah, they're sliding doors going through the sliding doors and we have one of the kids right here. And as soon as we come in, well, I guess I kind of went the wrong way. What camo, camo couch, a camo couch, a camo couch. I'm still outside. Get back in there. There we go. <laughs> 
What the heck? What the heck? These are some patterns, guys. These are some patterns. <laughs> Look at the kid's face. The kid's face says it all. It says it all. I don't even have to say anything. Oh, gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm going through walls. I'm so confused. Um, I guess let's just do it. Let's just go through the store. I don't even know. I don't even know what we're getting into. Uh, the bathroom isn't too bad. Not too bad. Shower, toilet with a little wooden seat, and a sink. Um, the lamps look like mushrooms. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right. Well, this bathroom's not as bad as I expected. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> purple, purple counters, purple counters. Um, is that the door? There's two doors. Let's, well, oh my gosh. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Okay, let's just do it. Kitchen. <laughs> Nothing matches, but that's okay. I like the quirky colors. Um, purple and green. This is like the Joker's kitchen, guys. We found the Joker's kitchen. Oh my gosh. Well then, let's just go through this door and see what we find. And it is a bedroom. Whoa, this is like a pimp-tastic bedroom. We've got a bar in the bedroom. <laughs> Dancing bunny poster. Leopard print bar stools and a zebra print bed. Yeah, this uh this is the love shack. Yep, yep. We found the love shack in the Joker's house. Cause the Oh boy. Okay. Um, is there a window going into one of the rooms? What the heck? What the heck? Fixer upper, fixer, yeah. Uh, Kayla, little Simsy, you need to fix her upper this house, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this? I don't even know. I don't even know. There's some beds and it's dark and there's that window. There is a window from the kitchen into the bedroom. Oh my gosh, this was fun. And now we're glitching out. I am just going to go into an aerial shot because I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. I really can't believe I've never seen this house before. I, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say it again. Shout out little Simsy. Please fix her up or this house. <laughs> or anyone, for the love of God, anyone fix her up or this house. I don't know. It's kind of cute. It's kind of charming. It's kind of creepy. Um, that's a great way to end this video, I suppose. This was probably a little bit shorter than I expected. I was kind of going through these houses fast because I wanted to squeeze, squeeze three in. Um, so yeah, gosh, well, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's just end this video because I'm, I, this is awkward. Guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Sunset Valley Base Game House Tours. And please don't forget to subscribe so you can not miss my next video because I'm sure you won't want to miss it after this. <laughs> God. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye! I, I'm, I'm, what the heck? What the heck, Sims? What the heck? Ah.